Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am doing my April Weight Watcher empties. So this is what becoming one of my favorite videos to film and it seems to be a favorite of all of you as well. So let's get started because I have a lot of trash here to show you. Um, a full disclaimer, disclosure, whatever you want to call it. This All this trash has been washed and rinsed out. I just keep it in a bag and just have it in the kitchen and I just put things in there but I do wash and rinse it out so it's not yucky or anything. So let's go, and I will give you the points for things that I do know the points for and I will also let you know it, know if they are simply filling or not. So thirsty today. Okay, first thing I have to show you is, um, and there may be repeats from previous months but some of you have probably not seen those videos so hopefully you guys don't mind. This is a Smucker Sugar Free um, Preserves. This is the Orange Marmalade. This is so, 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 so good, you guys. There's many different flavors of Smuckers. I think I've tried them all. The Orange Marmalade is one of my favorites. So try that. It is zero points for one tablespoon. And it is simply filling because it is zero points. Okay, the next thing is the Great Value Light Greek Yogurt. This is the non-fat yogurt. This for one cup is four points. It is simply filling. This is really good. I like to just get the vanilla of this once in a while. Like, that's why I like to buy the big ones because I can make little parfaits if I have strawberries or raspberries. Put some Cheerios on there or if you want to do any kind of low-fat granola, anything like that. It's very versatile. The vanilla is really good. So there you go. Four points. Um, this is one of the Bi Antioxidant Cocoa Fusion. This is the Coconut Pineapple. For this entire bottle it is one point. I typically, it's a really strong coconut flavor and it's kind of, I, I like coconut but it's a little bit too much for me to drink all in one sitting. I tend to sip on it for a few days. I stick it in the refrigerator and just drink a little bit of it and then I just drink a little bit more. So I never have to count a point for it. It does have one gram of sugar. I believe that sugar is natural sugars um, but it's five calories. There's a whole bottle. There's two servings for the for the whole bottle, so it'd be ten calories for the whole bottle. But it's really yummy. If you have not tried any of these buy drinks so far, I think I like them all, except for maybe the blueberry. Um, and then I just have I just I of course drink more than one of these in a month. But this is the Diet A and W root beer. The A and W is not my favorite. It's to me tastes too much like cream soda. I'm not a cream soda person, so I have recently bought the Diet Barks, which is my favorite root beer, and I don't think I put any of those in here, but. Anyway, this is Diet A and W, so of course zero points because it's Diet Soda. Um, I, it took me a long time to go through these. These, this is the spray butter. Um, a lot of people use these that are on Weight Watchers. I think you can have like 16 sprays for zero points. Um, it's uh, the I cannot believe I can't believe it's not butter brand. It is really good. I use this on my cream of wheat. I use it on my toast. I use it on pretty much everything. I only have to use a few sprays on my toast and just a few sprays in my cream of wheat, but it is zero calories. The serving size is one, one, no, serving size, one spray, three sprays, oh, three, five sprays. So there you go. It is really good. And it does last you a really long time. At least it lasts me a really long time. I think this is only my second bottle. I have a third bottle in there that I've bought since I've been on Weight Watchers. Um, this is the Applewood Smoked Deli Turkey Hormel Naturals Choice. This is only a half a gram of fat and it is a lower sodium. So it is simply filling. You can have uh, three slices of this for one point. It is really good. It doesn't have any of the kind of bad things, you know, like it says raised without hormones, no nitrates or no nitrates or nitrites. So really good. Hi, this is a cold brew coffee that I found randomly at a grocery outlet. It was really, really good, um, really good cold brew. I wish I would have gotten some more because I got it found for 99 cents and it like had, it was expired. When I bought it, it was during spring break and it still had a month left on its expiration date so it was really good so if you have a grocery outlet you might check to see for products like this because cold brew as you guys know is kind of expensive um normally and this was only 99 cents so this was really good this was the breakfast medium roast blend um 
This was the Trader Joe's free range chicken broth. I don't have a Trader Joe's super close to me. We have to drive about an hour and a half to get to one. So I did pick up a few of these when I was down there. This really is some of the best chicken broth that I've ever had. So next time I go down there, I will um, make sure that I stock up on quite a bit because I don't use chicken broth a whole lot. But um, yeah, definitely would recommend if you have a Trader's next to you. And this is really cheap. It was only $1.99, which is the same price that I pay for any other brand at all my grocery stores. So chicken broth, and it is um, fat-free, so it is zero points and simply filling. This is kind of a rediscovered new favorite. Um, this is the Bolt House Classic Balsamic Vinaigrette Dressing. It is fat-free, so it is simply filling for two points for two tablespoons is two points. I had, hadn't had this for a very long time, but I started using it on my salads when I was making salads with quinoa and wheat berries and pomegranate. This pairs very well with that salad. So I kind of just now use it on all my salads. It's very good, very rich, and actually, depending on the size of your salad, one tablespoon could possibly be enough for you. I just, usually my salads are my main meal, so I use two tablespoons typically. Um, another favorite salad dressing is the fat-free Kraft Zesty Italian. This also is two points for two tablespoons. Again, very good dressing. It is simply filling because it is fat-free, but very good. If you have not tried the Catalina, I highly recommend it. I have a yogurt here. This is just one of the Greek 100 proteins. This is blueberry. As you guys all know, I love this yogurt. It is three points. Definitely worth the extra point um, compared to Dan and Light and Fit, which is two points. It is, I think it's worth the extra point to get these Greek 100 proteins. Fortunately, in my area, it is hard to find very many flavors. There are a lot of flavors, though. So if you have several stores to choose from, I recommend looking for the different flavors. And here's another one of the cold brew. This is the Guatemalan blend. Um, I think I showed this last month. This is a new coffee company that is, I've seen actually just in one of my stores. This is the Wide Awake Coffee Company. I have tried now three or four different of their flavors. They also have a French vanilla that is very good, but it's very good coffee. So if you see this in any of your stores, I recommend it. And here's another one. This is a breakfast blend. What is this other one? Colombian. Um, my usual 100 calorie packs of the Jolly Time Healthy Pop Kettle Corn. These are three points. The mini bags are three points. Um, they are simply filling, so I do have this as a snack quite often. Um, a shredded wheat. It was just kind of, again, a newly discovered favorite. I used to eat shredded wheat a lot when I was a kid, and then as I got older, because in my home we were not allowed to have any kind of cereal with sugar in it, and this is simply filling because of the low fat and low sugar content. This only has, this has zero sugar in it. It is very good in yogurt as well, or just as cereal with skim milk. So I recommend this if you haven't had shredded wheat in a while. Um, it is like five points for a cup, but I think it's worth with the fiber you get and the you know healthy carbs and stuff that are in it. Um, this is, Cough, I got K-Cups at Trader Joe's, and I have to tell you again, this is, I got two of them. I got the medium roast and the dark roast. Again, this was probably the best coffee that I have ever had in a K-Cup. It was amazing. Um, their coffee, I don't know if there's any, like, thing special about them. Um, I don't know, but, so here's what the, and they were cheap. I think these were $3.99 at my store. Um, for $3.99 or $4.99, which is really cheap when it comes to K-Cups, and you get 12. So these are really good. So if you, again, if you have a Trader Joe's, I highly recommend them. I will be stocking up on these as well when I go down there. Um, I showed these before too. These are the Boca Burgers. These are the original vegan veggie burgers. In the past, for some reason, I think just because Morningstar is prominently displayed in my stores a lot more than the Boca brand, and so I always grab the Morningstar. Well, the Boca are Simply Filling, so that's why I grabbed these this lot, you know, when I started Simply Filling. And these, I have to tell you guys, are, I would choose these hands down over Morningstar. Um, these are only one point as well. I don't know if the Morningstar are a little bit bigger. I don't think they are because I used to eat the Morningstar all the time, and I don't really notice a difference between the two. 
Um, these also have 4 grams of fiber and 13 grams of protein. So these are really good. This is what the box looks like. Again, only one point. Um, I have the Ronzoni Healthy Harvest 100% Whole Grain Penny Penny Rigatti. I don't know how to say that. Five points for a three quarters of a cup. This is really good. It's simply filling. So I use, I think I used this for um, one of my one skillet meals. I think the one kind of like baked ZD type of thing. I think that's what I used this one for. It's really good. And more popcorn. I tried not to put repeat things in here, but I could never remember halfway through. Um, cream of wheat. You guys know this is something I love. I ate this all the time as a child. Again, like I said, we were not allowed to have anything with sugar. So kind of rediscovering these things um, that I can have on Simply Filling. And actually you can have this on Weight Watchers. It is only three points. If I would have known that cream of wheat was only three points, I think I just steered away just thinking it'd be higher in points. But it's not. It's only three points. Highly recommend it. Keeps me fuller than oatmeal does. have a random sparkling this is a Costco one of those like sparkling ice type thing sparkling water zero calories zero sugar all that this was a black raspberry really good um, no sugar added fruit cocktail this is in water so it's zero points and simply filling now here's something that I will not purchase again and I did not like so these are the Trader Joe's yogurts um, this is the non-fat yogurts. I think only some of these are simply filling. They're, they're pretty high in points. They range between like five to seven points. I think it's because of the calories. This one has 120 calories, so I think this one was only four points. I did not like them at all. I ended up taking them work and giving them to coworkers. I tried two different of the flavors. This one was honey, and I think the other one was like a strawberry or something that I tried. Did not like it at all. Not sure why. I don't know. I, I mean, I've never really been really picky about yogurt, but so let your, you know, your own taste buds, but I just, I don't recommend it. And like I said, a lot of these flavors are not simply filling, I think because of the calories. So there you go. So I do have one. Sometimes I won't repurchase. <laughs> um, these is from, this is the Kroger white corn tortillas. These are simply filling. I use these to make my own tortilla chips. And also just use them for like taco night. They are really good. You get also get how many is in here? There's 30 in this package, so the package is huge. And it's at my Kroger, they're only a dollar thirty. So really economical. We're actually almost at the end of the bag. Oh, so here's just the box top from the Ronzoni Healthy Harvest lasagna noodles. I use these for um, lasagna roll-ups. And we have some sugar-free black cherry jello. This was the one that I did not really like, which really surprises me because I normally like black cherry flavors of anything, but I did not like this jello. I will not repurchase this flavor again. Zero points. Um, kiwi. I like kiwi. It's just not a fruit that I would get all the time, but I get it every once in a while when I see it. So, yummy. I think Blake Kiwi is one of the highest, um, I think it has a very high, high vitamin C content in it as well. I think this is much as citrus. Fat-free cottage cheese. Um, this is simply filling, and I believe a half a cup is a two points. I personally like cottage cheese, and a lot of people don't. I have a few, quite a few of these, more of these Greek 100 proteins in here. And I think all three of these are the same. Yes. Okay. So I discovered um, some lunch meat that I really like as well, the Hillshire Farm Naturals. These are all 99% um, fat free, so they are simply filling. I think two of these are the same. Okay, yeah, two of them are the same. Um, I have the chicken breast and then I have the turkey breast. These are really good. They are simply filling. I think the only one of this line that is not simply filling is the beef because it does have more fat than um, a half of a gram. So, really good, nice, natural, um, no nitrates, no, what is that other one? Nitrites, yeah, really good. Um, I have Minute Brown Rice. This is, I believe, let me see, the serving is half of a cup of dry rice mixed two-thirds of a cup of cooked, which would think is either five or six points. I can't remember which one, but it is simply filling, so... 
I like brown rice. And then lastly, in here I have some Jello, the sugar-free lime Jello. And I did like the lime; it is really good. I would definitely purchase the lime flavor again. Yummy. So that does it for my empties. This is actually a little bit shorter than the other ones that I've had before. Hope you enjoyed this video and give me a thumbs up if you did so I know to do more. And I will see you next month in another Weight Watchers Empties video. Bye guys.